What's up guys, back with a new video for the first time in 2021. Does the new year bring the new me? I guess maybe with collecting cards it does. Uh, as you guys know, I like to collect old wax junk, early 90s, mostly basketball cards. You know, I've gotten into football cards and occasionally some baseball cards when I can scrounge them up. If you follow me on any other collector's uh, YouTube pages, you know that I'm not a huge fan of shiny new cards, particularly Panini Prism, but hard times call for, or desperate times call for desperate measures, and it did, because I bought Panini Prism draft picks. Now, I've been a, a pretty big hater of these cards, but... I had no choice, and uh, for, for Germany, I got actually a pretty good deal on these. Uh, they usually run, hold your breath. I mean, it's in the States. I mean, here. I don't know how it's in the States. They run, for this box, 149 euro. That's right. Now, I, we have another thing. It's not only eBay. There's a thing called uh, eBay Kleinanzeigen, which is like local eBay. And, um, yeah, I found a guy who actually sold these with shipping for 90 bucks. Which is a good deal, I guess. And I'm pretty desperate right now to get cards, and... I don't know, I'm sort of jumping on the LaMelo Ball bandwagon right now. I called it a while ago that, uh, I think he would be better than his brother. And, uh, so far he's proven it a little bit. At the age of 19, already racking up a triple, his first career triple-double, the youngest. Which actually surprised me. I would have thought that Kobe or Kevin Garnett would have had the earliest, or even, um... What was it, Nicholas Bynum? But, no, it's LaMelo. So, uh, let's get into it. As you know, I'm usually open, I usually open huge boxes that take like, uh, damn. <laughs> take four videos, because they're always over an hour long. But um, there are, are wait a sec, five cards per pack, 12 packs. So, uh, I don't know, maybe get this done in about 20 minutes, I hope, because uh, I'm gonna make this count. I was going to start the video, and then I saw my battery is always dead, but, you know, bringing professionalism into 2021. Ah, this is the first time I get to open something where it's a huge waste of paper. So, there we go. I'm actually kind of excited, to be honest, because maybe, I thought maybe after seeing the cards, I wouldn't hate them so much. There we go. There's the pack. There's the bonus pack, which will open last. And there are our 4, 8, 12 packs. So, let's see, I have a... I actually have my tablet open next to me because I have not been following the current NBA season as much as I'd like to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dropping everything. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fancy holding these cards. Oh, and I'm gonna die reading names. So, we got... Uh, Udoka Azubuki. And then we got. Let me move over here. I forgot these are these are what is it? Broken cracked glass or whatever they're called. We got uh, Patrick Williams. And we got Obi Toppin. And I'm going to be a little bit honest right now. These cards are actually pretty, they feel good. They feel thick. They don't feel all floppy like the cards that I usually open. Uh, Crusade, we got Cole Anthony, and we got RJ Hampton. Wasn't he a big deal? Let me go scroll. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and I always bitched about the cards because they don't have any, um, they don't have the rights to show the certain jerseys or the logos. But, like I said, the... Like I heard on the on the live on the live chat with um with Haas and JPN and Rycon that the prices I mean you guys are getting bombed with prices in the states then it's even worse for us because we're getting destroyed by customs. Vernon Carey Jr. R.J. Hampton again. We got a crusade, and we got Jaden McDaniel's. I hope I notice everything, like the numbered cards and everything. 
We got Sadiq Bey and we have Josh Green. I thought too maybe some of the good cards will be in here that I can actually maybe flip something. Eventually. We got, oh, there we go. We got number one overall draft pick, Anthony Edwards. Base card. Well, there you go. Nice. That is awesome. I just noticed I'm throwing the packs everywhere. We got Precious Achua Crusade, but the red one. Like I said, I have no, I have no idea, really. I'm usually just hating on these cards instead of actually paying attention. And we got uh, Cassius Winston. Isaiah Stewart. Oh, the same name sounded familiar. Base, and we got Jalen Smith again. Or I'm trying to look at the tablet and sound like I know what I'm talking about. And we'll go through the cards again. And um, I decided uh, to put even more effort into the videos. I want to put more videos, uh, put more animation in it, and more information, and just really take my time instead of just blasting it. Is anyway. I don't really have a choice since, uh, like, I'm not getting totally drowned with with cards like I had for a while now. Cole Anthony, Tyrius Maxi, Daniel Oturu, Tyler Bay, and there we go. That's another uh, Killian Hayes seventh overall draft pick, Crusade. So that's pretty nice. Put that over there. Oh man, I hope I pull at least get some kind of uh, Lamello. Oh, then we got Anthony Edwards again. I don't know which one's the difference between this one. Are there two kind of base cards, or is it some kind of parallel? Like I said, I have no idea. But two Anthony Edwards, that's pretty awesome. Well, I'm going to say, like I said, uh, you do notice the difference with the card quality in the new card, so I'm changing my mind. Actually, when having it in your hand, the cards are pretty awesome. Jordan Nuara. Oh, we got James Wiseman Crusade, number two overall draft pick. Awesome. Put it down there. Trey Jones from Duke. Trey Jones. I don't even know where he went in the draft. I thought it was a little bit higher. I guess I'll say so because the whole I was following uh, Zion over the when he first went to Duke, so you know I was hearing all these guys. So um, you know, for me, then everyone was good in Duke. <laughs> And Marcus Howard. So, oh, there we go. There's our first Global Prospects Lamello Ball. Very cool. Digging the flag in the back. Very nice. That is awesome. Jameis Ramsey. Then we got a Global Prospects. We got a red. No numbering or anything. From James Wiseman. Number two over picks. So I mean, we're killing it. Therese Maxey again, but a red one. And Marcus Howard. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm just going to probably open anything in my hands on now because it just, I don't know what to do. So we got Xavier Tillman. We got Killian Hayes, Global Prospects. Very cool. Precious Achua. We got Oyenka Okongwu. 
Oh, he's his number six overall draft pick. He just hasn't played yet, from what I understand. Very good. And R.J. Hampton. I thought he was also drafted higher. I do, though. These cards smell. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Idiot sandwich. Dropped it. Hope there was nothing. Nothing happened. And this pack is an asshole. Jeez. Out of here. So we got Aaron Newsmith. Crusade. Therese Halliburton. Oh, now we got a red uh, Killian Hayes. Like, how do I know when these are numbered? I don't get it. Ooh, what do we have? Killian. What exactly? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have three of his. I mean, the camera, these, uh, the card color is awesome, so... I'm pretty excited about these cards. Patrick Williams. And we got uh, Nico Mannion. You see on the camera, just shiny. But yeah, I said I pulled an OP Toppin earlier. He's number eight overall draft pick. So we got Aaron Newsmith again. Jemais Ramsey again. Isaac Okoro, number five overall draft pick. Uh, Onyeku Okangu, Okangu, sorry, again. And we got Crusade Tyrese Maxi. Okay, I was just making sure they were kind of shiny looking. <laughs> Oh, now we got James Wiseman. This is the base. Yeah, it's number two. Okay, I'm guessing they're going from the draft. I don't know if that's was on purpose or not, but we got that one. We got uh, Denny Avidja. Or that Avidja. He is the number nine overall draft pick. I thought he was supposed to go higher, but I guess it didn't work out. Zeke Naji. Peyton Pritchard. Pritchard, I think he also hasn't played yet. Jersey's is pretty cool. And we got Nick Mannion again. Two more packs, then we get the bonus pack. See what we get. We got RJ Hampton, Global Prospects, Ashton Haggins, Theo. Maladon from France. We got Robert Howard II and Vernon Carey Jr. So down to the last pack. Only got the mellow global prospect card. Jordan Nuaro, Nuara. Peyton Pritchard again with the green jersey. We got Ashton Haggins. Sorry, the cards are so slippery that they're falling down. And we have a Jared McDaniels Crusade. But the, I guess it's red ice, isn't it? Now it's coming back to me. And we got Udoka Azubuki. And that's all for the base. So we did get the mellow prospects and we have this one this is one card isn't this the autograph there's a little anticipation huh so let's see what we got in our prism bonus pack and it is Flipped around. We have a Lamar Stevens. I have no clue who that is. But it's cool to have an autograph. Gonna have to look him up. 
So, from what I saw, I didn't get any number cards. I don't know if there's any number cards in here or anything, or maybe I just overlooked it. I am pretty stoked. We got uh, we got three James Wiseman cards. We got the Global Prospects Red. We got the Crusades, and we got the Base. Also did pretty good on Anthony Edwards. We got the Base Rookie, and we got, I don't know, it's like the second one. It's card number 41. I'm guessing everyone has two cards. We got uh, the Killian Hayes Ice. We got the Red Prospects. And we got the Crusade, which is pretty cool. We got quite a few other guys. We got the, what I was looking for the most, of course, was uh, Lamelo. Did get the Prospects card. Did not get the base, unfortunately. And we got the Lamar Stevens autograph card. So I'm going to admit to you guys, I like it. The cards are cool. I'm not going to deny it. In person, the cards are super sweet looking. They're super shiny. They feel good. They look good. So new year, new me when it comes to collecting cards. Definitely Panini Prism. I have to give it up to them. They're pretty awesome cards. So until then, I'm going to uh, go look for more cards and uh, hopefully I can keep it up at least. I don't think it'll happen weekly, uh, bi-weekly. At the minimum, I would like to do cards. I do have a lot of stuff in the line. I just have to see how it's financially going to work out. Uh, I do have... I know I have one thing coming on the way. The pack of... Uh, the prisms that I won in for my useless sports knowledge. I told you, the useless knowledge, it's, it's important. It, eventually it'll come up. It'll be a question on who wants to be a millionaire. You never know. But until then, uh, I wish you guys all luck in getting cards that aren't ultra expensive. And um, I'll see you guys soon. And until then, take it easy.